So, the Nephilim. Yeah, I, I know it sounds like I'm mispronouncing the land of the, the land of the gods, but no, it's not Niflheim, it's Nephilim. Yeah, sounds like a sneeze. <sighs> These people who wrote this ancient book are very strange with their pronunciations. Um, probably all the magic babble talk. Not babble, babble. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to pick up the, you know, la 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 from it. But yeah, these are the giant cavemen. Because even back in the times of the caveman, there were giants. They just went and hid in the clouds and evolved separate from our plane, the Nivellum. Yeah, so they're, they're essentially just humans, but giants. And uh, they live in the clouds, which is where the whole Jack and the Beanstalk sort of thing came from. Uh, the, yeah, very interesting, honestly. I uh, never knew about this species because it doesn't tend to interact with Earth. And, you know, we have never flown outside of Earth. It fell outside of our universe and to other Earths. But we've no, never actually flown above the Earth itself, as you know, we don't really know anybody who, with advanced enough space travel. Um, the only one who did was me from eons and universes ago. But uh, that's neither here nor there, and I don't really carry that one's memories. Just the other ones. It's very odd. Um, yeah, Nephilims at the. Giant cavemen, which are different than giants, but they're the prehistoric cousins of a giant. Interesting.